Alrighty, boys. Into Champ Select we go! Oh yeah, finally! Alright. I don't know why I say finally. We actually got started pretty early today. Yeah, we got started at not the right time because the first game was forfeit. However, we did start pretty much okay, straight on seven. Jamoans keep forfeiting. They're going to get straight to the promotion ah. tournament because of it, man. Very unfortunate. They were doing so good. Well, they weren't doing good, but they were improving so much. So good is a... Uh... <laughs> it's not the word I would like use. Like I said, improving so much. I took it back. One and eight. Yeah, they were improving a lot. Regardless. <laughs> I guess they managed to find that win and they just went ahead and left. They just, they're not last place. That's all they care about. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. It's just TDE yes, and Requiem, man. <laughs> so, we, well, we need Hodor to win one. We can see all of our teams back. But you're right. Yeah. We got our top place team, Tim Digital Esports, and... What many consider potentially the third place team or even second place team, Team Requiem. Yeah, we'll have to see how this goes because Requiem have just been getting better and better and better and better and better as the split goes on. They started off really slowly, uh, and ever since they've got their new roster, their new members, they've kind of melded together. They've become more cohesive as a unit, and they've done really well in the past couple of games. So. Requiem is actually a pretty big team to be reckoned with, being, I guess you, you want to call it, the reigning champs with B-Camp. So, um, you can't exactly count them yeah. out yet just because they're not on the top. B-Camp's been the winner before. He's oh, been there Brett, this Brett, your microphone. What? Oh, no. Oh, God, he's back. Are you getting... Are you getting... Oh, wow. I'm hearing it, too. Oh, uh -oh. boy. Brent, oh, I boy, told you it's it. not me, man. Oh, man. Right, uh -oh. Sago, it might be you and me tonight, boy. Hi, right, boyos. <laughs> Unless you want a transformer to do the casting. <laughs> Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> it's still there, dude. <laughs> no. Oh, no, Brent. Rip. No. Oh, man. Transformers. <laughs> it's time for it sounds like we got Bumby casting I, for us. I'm turning into a <laughs> No, no, no. You're, you're no, legit no, turning no, into no. a toaster. But... Let me restart. <laughs> Alright, Masago, if he doesn't get that on control, it's you and me again. Same sit. Alright. Alright, so let's talk about these picks and bans. Uh, thus far, we got the first pick, Poppy, coming out from TDE. Uh, along with the Gragas Nautilus, which I love. That is a lot of CC. And actually a pretty substantial amount of damage with Gragas and Poppy as well. So, I'd love to see what this last pick is. The Sivir has a lot of engage potential on the side of TDE. So much engage potential. I would say that's the most engage heavy team I've ever seen. And if Lux gets locked in, hey, that's a lot of pick and a lot of long range damage. So, hey, good pick up on the side of TDE. They have a really clear idea of what they want to do in their team fighting scenario in their game their real win conditions are very obvious and on the side of requiem we'll have to see what their final pick is to see what their real ideal comp would be oh well i mean they already have a lucian with a uh, brahm so they're gonna try and land that stun on on new trinks or onto a uh, a uh, blow me bot lane and try and just hammer that in and get the good like we saw last game they got uh, one stun after a hook missed and took out half their health mm-hmm so they're probably trying for that uh, as uh, trying for that again uh, I play one game and I can't do any more casting my throat <laughs> is shot oh man <laughs> uh, that's how rusty I am no it'd be funny what is it oh no never mind forget it they already support switched. Lux <laughs> support Lux mid lane Nautilus yep. yeah I was thinking the same thing but no unfortunately not no uh. Anyways. But, uh, I've been seeing a lot of Udyr recently. Yep, It looks yeah. like Trick2G finally found his way to bronze. <clears throat> Why you mean Trick2G? you hear me? I don't know, we we'll have to see. hear you, but... All right. Up, up. Nope, no it's fix. It's already starting. What do you mean? Okay, talk, like, say a very long sentence constantly. Just go. The Sago is really weird. And I'm pretty sure Lee's dating a dude. <laughs> Alright, Brent, you're fired. 
<laughs> Alright. I come out clear. The first one fired. Alright, so Vasago, Vasago, you're promoted. <laughs> um, Guys, is it still coming out? Kinda, yeah. It's, it's still heading. Kind out. of. Yup, yeah, it's still happening, man. <laughs> okay, we're done. We're moving you, Brent. You're not even, you're not even, Ar you're not even Arnold. You are literally oh, you're like, hey, Arnold. Gladys, Hold but... On. You're Hey Arnold. I gotta get into the stream. I can hear what it sounds like. Okay, you I, sound okay. like you sound like garbage. So, oh, you know no. when uh, Glados first restarted and couldn't speak yet? That's what you that's sound you. like. Yeah, <laughs> actually, that's a really good. Experience. Oh wow, I hear it. Yeah, horrid. Anyways, I it is no <sighs> Maybe you need a new mic, man. No, this is on two different microphones. Uh, Maybe it's your computer. It might be. Or it's probably just a Discord. It could. Uh, it, hey, it could be your audio jack. It's something Maybe with your like, stuff, yeah. man. I don't know. Me and Visago are fine. <laughs> mm. No, because like, when I listen back to my stuff, like it's fine. So oh, I see, but you're back listening. To it, so uh, wait, are you listening to, to it right now? Yes. Are you to it right now? Because I mean, you're good for. A about say a minute and a half, two minutes of, of talking, and then out yeah. of nowhere it just starts, and yeah, it's really so bad. Yeah, so he uh -huh. can't do play by play. Ah, uh, 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 all right. Uh, all I heard was. Arr. That's all I said. <laughs> he, he's he's doing a, a imitation of gangplank going. Hard baby. Mecha gangplank incoming. Oh, mecha gangplank. I'm listening to my mic right now, and I have no problems. Alright, well, you can hear it on the stream, so, regardless, let's talk about the game. Requiem. Just take a strip of duct tape. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Take a strip of duct tape, wrap it around your mic, that should It's not it. the mic, I'm telling you, it's it's the Discord server. Like, for me, at least, my connection to it. Uh, yeah, it's definitely your connection or something, I think, but, because we're fine. to figure it out. Uh, Get anyways. better internet. Requiem on the side of the red color. <laughs> I can't say that any other different ways. Um, they have a very nice comp. They have a good skirmish comp in this bot lane with the Braum Lucian. Very strong couple there. They could look to go for some cheeky uh, trades. However, Sivir does have that spell shield, which is a really good response from Nutrinx. Um, I also think they just wanted the ultimate from Sivir as well. Either way, it's a good response regardless for that stun. And a pretty heavy, I guess, in not engaged, but I guess uh, pick uh, skirmish potential on Requiem. So we'll have to see how they kite back and deal with this heavy, heavy, heavy engage comp from TDE. And if they can make something of their skirmish comp. So. Oh, yeah. Well, two, one, and we're in. And now, who do you think is going to win up between this? I... <sighs> hmm. I'm over one nope. tonight. I I I, I honestly I, don't. I know you're not. You're one to know. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, I I love TDE's team comp, but Requiem have the kite potential with the Nautilus, with the the Brom, with the Brom Ultimate. They have a lot of safety and disengage if they need it. So. There's good responses and there's good picks for both of these teams, but I I think TDE have I think they have the game. I I want to say Requiem can do it because they have been doing incredibly well, and they probably will now that I'm saying this. But I think TDE have a really good heavy engaged comp, and it's going to be not necessarily the most fun to deal with on the side of Requiem. Yeah, I'm gonna put my money on TDE as well, just for the sheer fact that they have the Warden bot lane. Mm, the the combos, man, that synergy. Why is that not? And then, hmm. whatever. Uh oh. There we go. It's all good. All right. You fixed now? I I didn't do anything. I'm not risking it. Okay. He's not playing. He's not doing casting tonight. <laughs> oh. What? No. Yeah. No, I'm gonna I'm already back. I'm right gonna there. mute you, man. I can't. Your brother. <laughs> All right, he's muting. Mute. All right. Up. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> bye bye. He can argue all he wants, but it's his side. You know, it's something on his computer or something. Because 
My brother probably heard him, but he probably said like two words to the poor kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like, hey, am I good? Acid yeah, man, I hear you. Like, oh, thanks. Bye. Master oh my God, here we go. Watch this. <laughs> oh no, I can. It's not like I can kick people from Discord. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Savage. What we need, what we need is the old LeBlanc key where it silences. <laughs> oh my God, easy. That's how this game's supposed to go, man. He can come back when he's not going to spam text to speak. <laughs> he's probably going to be in chat spamming. Um, Wait, is chat moving? My chat isn't moving. No, it's no, it's not moving. No one's talking. No one loves us. It's K-Man. Okay. Well, I mean, we only have 15 people. So, I it's mean... All right. I know. It's no one sad. loves us anyways. It's all right. We're, We're in A. No one loves We're us. We're trying to grow, man. I'm sorry. We're trying. No, no, see, what we're doing is we're trying it in the one e uh, region that every other region hates. Mm -hmm. We're the region that gets picked on. I mean, we're the one region that we really hasn't like won a championship. Years. Right? So you I can't know. really blame them, honestly. Well, well hey, that's not Hey, see. Pacific. <laughs> oh, see, yeah, crazy. what's up, bro? But, uh, right. I mean... The Pacific hasn't won one yet. Okay, let's be real here, man. I think... <laughs> Bangkok Fair Titans. Enough. What's Bangkok Titans? I think they're Chinese. Are they? I think. I couldn't remember. Awkward Flash! The flash was oh fun, my though. god! The Flash was there for no reason! Fantastic color <laughs> casting, Masago. Fantastic! Mmm, quite. <laughs> you know... <laughs> I gotta make my last game out going strong. I mean, I'm being fired, aren't I? I, I know, right? Well, <laughs> you're getting let go. There's a difference. <laughs> but still, Poppy should win this early game, at least until Trundle hits 6. That percent health damage will whittle him down pretty quickly. Um, and the fact that he does not have a flash anymore, he has to play incredibly safe now. So, very big, unfortunate uh, chain of events up in this top lane for Requiem. Yeah, percent health damage is going to tear him apart. Corrupting Potion is going to keep him healthy for now. But once Trundle hits 6, he will start to tear those resistances away and be pretty safe, in all honesty. Hook lands oh, yeah. on to Awesome Bill. Riptide not too much going to follow through with it. A little bit of uh, mana lacking on the side of Braum, but still not too much. Oh. One thing that I want to just talk about here is the difference between a Sivir and uh, Nautilus versus a Lucian and Braum. With the Sivir and Nautilus, I mean, yes, if they land a hook, that's a good pick uh, to go in on and something that will really work. But Sivir doesn't have as much pure damage as Lucian. Yes. So all Awesome Bill needs to do is land one really good uh, Q onto uh, Nutrinx if Nutrinx doesn't spell shield it. Uh, and then there starts the good team fight. Sponge, uh, uh, yeah, Super Jew dashes in. Auto, auto, Q, auto, auto. That uh, stun's proc'd and he's just saying, like, just hit Amring on her. Right. We saw last game. Huh? Yeah, you're right. Nutrix yeah. is going to have to play oh. around his spell shield, but Flash Body Sam from Shelly's mom going to go for B-Camp. Heal is popped. Red buff is ticking, but B-Camp will get out at the cost of his heal. He did trade it for Gragas's Flash, so I would say that's a win for him. Oh, yeah, I'll trade a Flash for a heal any day. Yeah, especially on a Gragas like that. That's pretty standard oh, yeah, like, engage that tool. Flash bot yeah, the Flash Body Slam, I mean... He can't do that combo for another five minutes. Mm -hmm. So that's five minutes of safety, so they'll hit the ten-minute mark without any extreme worry of a gank from uh, Shelly as my mom, or at least until Shelly hits six and can use their, uh, his ultimate to throw it in. Yep. Big summoner down for the jungler. He's got five minutes on that one. See if he makes any other aggressive movements. Meanwhile, Bredel has been farming pretty much all game and is stuck in the same farm 
with Shelly's mom. However, he has backed, so he is looking to make something of it. I mean, Udyr, I believe, is one of the few champions that can, like, uh, do uh, Dragon really early uh, yep. still. I yep. think it's, like, Udyr, um, who else is a jungler that can do it? Actually, I can't think of any Elise. off the top of my head. Elise, yeah. Uh, so he could uh, go for a uh, Dragon early on, uh, but I'm actually a little curious to see if uh, Brettel's going to be going for the um, AP jungle item, which has been seen a lot recently, or if he's going to be going for Devourer. Because the AP item with the uh, Phoenix has been seeing a lot of play recently, and it looks like he's maxing his Phoenix first, so he could be doing that. But on the other side, though, a Devourer procs it so much more, uh, or oh, so early, that, well, not early, procs it so much faster that the damage with just the uh, view on Phoenix is roughly the same. Yeah, it's possible, but like we stated in the last game, early dragon won't necessarily mean too much. It's more of a, I guess, a, hey, we already got one. We don't need to force a fight here, but Binding does land from, yeah. I want your booty, and he gets it. First blood over to the Lux. <laughs> oh, that's always the best place you want to go. I uh, wanted it to go. That was Always. a fun name to say uh, <laughs> for the first play. <laughs> I want, want your booty, B Camp. Hey, B Camp, don't worry. At least someone wants your booty. Oh, my God. It was just handed to him right there. <laughs> Shelly with an awesome... Or not Shelly, but Dragskin, rather, with the good gank coming from the backside. B Camp didn't even see it coming. SpongeBob on the back foot. And while he is in farm, he does get his mid laner a kill. So... They're trading farm on the trundle for a kill and a lead it for this Lux on the side of um, TDE. See if it's worth it. Poppy will still do stuff regardless of how farm she is. As long as she gets a little tanky, she'll still have all of her utilities. So Nice oh, spell yeah. shield. Going to keep him safe from that stun. And that's why Sivir is so good into the Braum. But Uder is coming down. Brettel wants to make a gank. He does see a flash bear slap. He does not necessarily need it. Flash from Nutrix is forced along with the ultimate. And that's a big summoner spell down for the AD carry of TDE. Oh, yeah. I mean, one thing that I, I was trying to get to, I just didn't finish it. Oh, was, uh, looks like SpongeBob's going after Draxon a little bit. Trying to say, hey, look, I'm six now. I can hit back. Mm -hmm. I got a big club. Yep. You have a hammer, but I got a club. And a big mouth. <laughs> Trundle, and a big mouth. Trundle has a big mouth, and Poppy is a little person. So. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounds like so much can go so wrong right there. It does, doesn't it? Spell shield again from Nutrix. Does not necessarily need it. Uh, SpongeBob does not have his ultimate, so Poppy could potentially win this as Shelly's mom comes in. Flash Naga from Poppy. Flash response for SpongeBob's going to get out with a sliver of health. Shelly's mom as well going to get out with just barely blinking red. And Spongebob's going to be forced to back, but he does have the TP if he wants it. But yeah, what I was trying to say earlier about uh, the difference between Devourer and um, Runic Echoes on a Brettle is if he wants Devourer, he wants to leave the dragon up uh, to get it later. But uh, if he's going for the AP jungle item, it could always be that uh, yes, it's not going to have much use, but it does help if you solo the dragon. That's a good amount of gold for early game, like extremely early game, to get your items, get ahead. Uh, but if it's for everyone, like it's just one of those positions, it's not going to make much of a difference for everyone, but just that extra a little bit of gold can help a jungler get ahead at super early game. Yeah, it's definitely it's... still 6%. For oh, everyone on see, the I'm team. Yeah, the the difference on the team, it's not going to do much at all. But super early, it can make a difference between junglers and what they're able to do. Yeah. But team-wise, oh, it won't have any effect. Trading up in the top lane, Steadfast Presence is popped. Trundle still has his ultimate if he wants it. If they decide to trade, he'll win. Ultimate is popped by SpongeBob for the win. Pillar is being held. It's used. It does not have the knock in the direction he wants. And Draxkin gets out for free. 
And that's a big ultimate down for SpongeBob wins. But Brettel Games gets hooked. Brom shows up. Ultimate goes down. Knocks up Nautilus. Stunned from the Udyr Bear Stance. Flash from Blomi Bot Lane. Stunned from the Brom Passive goes through. Explosive Cask does not look like it's enough as Brettel Games is going to pick up another kill onto Blomi Bot Lane TDE. And now Requiem are going to take the first dragon, it looks. Unless maybe Shelly, as my mom and uh, Nutrients can uh, do something right here. They're definitely scaring them uh, to pull out the dragon. Yeah, and they don't actually want to risk it here. They don't want to risk a dragon so early for potentially losing a lot of members. I want your booty trades back with B camp and a small <laughs> win for booty, but overall, <laughs> not too much. B camp is oom at this point. The binding does land. That's a bad place to be. Body slam goes in. Ultimate goes through. Flash from B camp. Not necessarily needed as there was no more damage on the side of TDE. However, both summoners used for B camp. And now, no one to defend the mid lane of, T of Requiem. Yeah, I think uh, that may have been a small win for Booty, but in everyday life, Booty always wins. You can't fight the Booty. <laughs> true. Sim. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> you can't but do yeah, much about that. It it looks like, uh, actually, I can't quite tell, maybe, no, never mind, I was wrong. I'm trying to figure out what jungling item Brittle's going for. I was thinking maybe Cinder Hulk, but it looks like he just wants to go ahead and grab that Raptor Cloak. Yeah, he wants that z -Rot I... portal. A lot of pressure provided with that early z -Rot portal. So, we don't actually see what he decides to build yet. But you know that he assume... wants that split push potential. I'm going to assume that he's going to be getting the AP jungle item, because if he was going for Devourer, you want to get that as early as possible. Yeah, or even so a Cinder Hulk. To... So, like, I would agree with the yeah. AP. I think that's definitely where he's going. Yeah. And it looks like uh, SpongeBob has already got his Tiamat, whereas uh, Dragskin has his uh, makings for a uh, Sunfire Cape. And... So it looks like Spongebob will be getting the uh, Titanic Hydra. Yep. Titanic is very safe. Ultimate goes down for Spongebob for the win. Goes under tower. It looks like he doesn't necessarily want it. Takes a free tower shot. And Draxkin is forced to back. Blinking red. And, and like you were saying, that Titanic Hydra is going to be huge for Spongebob. It just gives a lot of raw stats. And it you're tanky. You do a lot of damage with it regardless. And Trundle has that chomp, that bonus damage, so he can still do a lot, even if he goes straight tank after that. But Oh yeah, I mean, how often have you ever actually seen a top lane go straight tank? With so many items nowadays that give uh, damage plus health, like, um, Titanic is one of them, as well as Sterex Gauge, uh, Dead Man's Plate... All these items give, like, armor and health and on top of attack damage that it's really easy to build a really beefy bruiser that a trundle is able to do. Uh, Jax can do it. Yi is sorry doing it, which is stupid, and I hate it. Darius. Darius is Lowy. a huge one that can do it. Everyone who has muscles in this game. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Yee doesn't necessarily have muscles, but I don't, I don't know. But Yee has a big sword. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. That was a little too late. Anyways, trading in the mid lane, not too much action happening as of yet. Both of the teams, these gold leads, really not existent as the gold's just awkwardly hovering around the same amount, plus or minus 500. Uh, well, TDE are pushing like... mid, though. Yeah, Requiem's actually going to be picking up that dragon. Yep. So Requiem trade a turret for a dragon at 15 minutes. A flash from Dragskin's not going to land as Brettle flashes. Very quick response. So nicely done by Brettle to avoid that engage from Poppy. But now the mid tower is open for Requiem and TDE have a slightly bit more uh, freedom to farm and roam their jungle. So... Overall, and, small uh, gold for small gold lead for TDE. 
Oh yeah, and Jack's gonna have his TP, so he's able to get up there and stop SpongeBob from uh, pushing in on that turret. And so now we're, we went from a nice li possible little skirmish in the teams, to now we're just back to farming. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a boring game again. Need yep. some, we need some color casting up in here. Uh, the ricochet Blue, coming out of red, to yellow, <laughs> green, green is right there, dude. <laughs> Why don't you just say it? <laughs> oh man, again. <laughs> Anyways, looking at this goal difference, a small lead for TDE is made up because of that tower. But most of the gold that Requiem seemed to be uh, pretty even with is coming from this top laner with SpongeBob for the win. Only down a thousand gold for Requiem, but. Being down 40 CS in the top lane is pretty significant. Yeah, but that 40 CS is being counteracted by the 20 CS uh, lead in mid lane and the 20 CS lead as ADCs. Yep, so, so overall the biggest goal, the differential here, it would be the tower. It's just the power rankings between these champions based on how much gold they have made. So, Trundle is going to be starting to look scarier and scarier. And there's not He's much anyone can do to kill it. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> not much <laughs> anyone can do to actually deal damage to him. Eventually, it's going to get a little bit out of hand. Spell shield mana, easy peasy nutrients. Thank you very much, Bill. You know, the funniest thing uh, that I love doing... I used to play server a lot. I would love going against a Jinx. Or especially a Jinx and Morgana. That's mm -hmm. free mana all, uh, all day. Yep. <laughs> it is actually it's it's actually really funny to see like Aura Sivir against the Tristana with that explosive charge. You just laugh. Oh yeah. And just lol. You just like sit there and laugh. Like, Thanks ah. for the mana, man. <laughs> Thinking about it, even like a Jin, all of his spells are kind of really visible. You can see them coming, and even the mine takes a second to proc. So as long as you're paying attention. It's free mana. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why Silver came back in. Not because she was good, but because she was able to counteract all those tiny little abilities. Nah, she got a buff, man. People don't give it enough credit. Trading in the top lane though, SpongeBob's getting the better of it. Takes a free tower shot. Now it's traded even at the top between Draxkin and SpongeBob. He still has his ultimate, but so does Poppy. He doesn't necessarily need to dive too much. He's still got a massive lead and farm there. Yeah, it looks like uh, Poppy went ahead and grabbed a uh, Negatron Cloak instead of uh, finishing out the uh, Sunfire. Maybe she's going for a um, ZZ Rot Portal as well. I assume so. ZZ Rot Portal is just kind of like a standard pick now. It's not too surprising to see that. But, yeah, man, Trunnel uh, is okay. tearing apart Poppy under her own tower. Yeah, last night I uh, saw a game... Imagine Dragons played with, um... Dyrus, uh, Wild Turtle... Dyrus... Yep. Yeah, all of them last night. It was really good, Oof. uh, fun to watch, but they did one game where everyone got a ZZ Rap portal and set it down. Oh they my lagged God. out the streamers' computers. Did it really? <laughs> like, they were, ha they were down... They were down to, like, two or three frames in the game. <laughs> Z-Rot portal is actually really powerful right now, so that's kind of funny. It wouldn't surprise oh, yeah. me if more than one person got the actual item in the game, but... Yeah, recently I've been seeing a lot of uh, top laners and junglers getting it, sometimes even the supports. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw Blomi uh, bot lane getting uh, one. I like to, from now on, I would like to just uh, call Blomi bot lane as Blomi, because I like saying Blomi on stream. Jeez. Huh. <laughs> fair. That's very fair. But... We were saying that one tower lead for um, TDE was going to make up all the gold difference. Now Requiem matched the top tower and got a Rift Herald for it, and the gold difference is still plus, a, plus or minus 300 gold at the max. So this really can still go either way. Neither team is making a mistake or really will, willing to make a risk that is uh, unnecessary. They're trying to force this in the bot, but... They can't get it as Poppy comes well, down, just walks down. Awesome Bill's in an awkward place, flashes over the wall, but that's not where you want to be. Nautilus Depth Charge goes on to Super Jew. Teleport coming in from SpongeBob for the win. That's a big trundle coming into this team fight. 
Stun on to blow me bot lane. Pillar goes through flash from it. Awesome build goes down, but Trundle returns the kill onto Nautilus. Uh, Super Juice in the fray, flashes away. Shelly's mom goes down. Ultimate from Orianna gets the double for Trundle. Now the Cullen comes down. Poppy's gonna eat most of it. Ultimate from Lux nearly picks off Super Ju. Heal goes down as well. I want your booty does not get any, unfortunately, and Brattle Games takes his own. Three kills for one thus far, but SpongeBob for the wins going deeper. Draxkin does not have mana. And Requiem gonna take this tower with the Rift Herald buff. So three for one plus a tower on the side of Requiem here. Comes up big. That was a huge and prolonged team fight. And then I think I saw Nutrix pop a spell shield twice in there. Yeah. I could be wrong because I, I believe the spell shield has almost a uh, uh well it has a 15 second cooldown. Okay, so they actually uh, changed that. I remember back when I used to play, it was like a 20 second cooldown. It was like almost impossible to use in one team fight. Yeah, it was actually a very long cooldown. I didn't realize they made it 15. That's a very uh, stark difference. But Poppy's not gonna be able to return the tower in the top lane, so Requiem's have a pretty about what one and a half thousand gold lead now with that and Udyr and Trundle are the two people who have the kills both of the laners who are ahead of their lane opponents so the difference between the top and jungle is going to just start to get bigger and bigger at this point oh yeah well I mean it looks like um Shelly's mom also picked up a ZZ Rot portal and doesn't have uh, the boots finished but he does have his runic echoes finished Whereas, Brettle Games is still working on getting that. He has his boots finished because Udyr needs his boots. He needs to be able to run up and smack you in the face to be able to do anything. So, I'm just waiting to see just the late game damage that will come out of this. Because I have have yet to see uh, this whole uh, build that Udyr has. I just know about it. So, I really <clears throat> wait, can't wait to see it. Yeah, they have a lot of peel... Uh, for Requiem here, as in a very tanky just team overall, Lucian and Oriana not necessarily the most tanky, but B Camp does have that Rod of Ages, which will start to stack, and Lucian, while he's an AD carry, can be very safe with his dash. Couple that with the Trundle Pillars, the Ultimate, the stuns from the Bear Slaps, uh, the Braum passive and Ultimate and slows all over the place. They're very safe, uh, disengage, uh, peel from Requiem, so they can keep this ahead. They can do a lot. Not to mention Trundle is nearly 50 CS over Poppy right now, which is pretty massive. Not to mention the kill and the assist. That is very massive uh, for Trundle, but that, like I said before, that CS is instantly being negated because uh, Nutrinx is just out farming Super Jew mm -hmm. by about the same, around 50. And at the same time, also, uh, I Want Your Booty is also ahead by about 10. So that's 60 CS up to, uh, to counteract the 50 that's coming from SpongeBob. It's true, but most of Sivir's damage comes from that Bouncing Blade. It comes from the utility of her ultimate and that Bouncing Blade bouncing into the back line of Requiem. And if Braum can play properly, he can pretty much negate all of that with a good shield placement. So... That's true. This all hinges on really Bill's shoulders. If he can pop up a good shield and negate Nutrix's damage, or if they can just pick Nutrix off before a team fight, the game's over. Oh yeah. I mean, I want your booty, yes, does have some damage, but that's not enough damage to be able to uh, burst like he has a lot of bursts. He could probably burst out B Camp, could probably burst out Super Jew. But he won't be able to burst out Bill. He won't be able oh, to burst out Oh, Super Jew. What were you just saying about bursting someone out? <laughs> That's what I just said. Super Jew would be able to be burst out. Yep. But he can't burst SpongeBob. He can't burst Brettle. Oh, Ultimate from Oriana and... hits new drinks and blow me bot lane. Depth Charge goes down onto B Camp. Awesome Bill's in a very awkward spot. Trundle Pillar goes down, keeps him alive, and he's still up. SpongeBob goes in. He does still have his ultimate. SpongeBob still trying to get some damage. Stun on Nautilus gets turned around. Smite secures the kill. 
And now it's a 4v4 in the mid lane, but Braum is... Or 4v3, rather. SpongeBob gets stunned into a wall. Knock up all over the place. Stunned from Brettel. Games gets... No, he's still alive. The Lux only does not have enough to finish him off. And now TDE are looking to push this tower with the BM. Zerot portal. <laughs> Culling from Superju comes out. Blows booty to very low health. Eventually has to flash him away. And... TDE forced this tower after taking a couple of kills, but back and forth from both of these teams, very uh, aggressive to say the least. I would like to take back what I said earlier about the uh, ultimate from I Want Your Booty. That thing has a 39 second cooldown. It was fired twice in that team fight. Yep. And it's already back up. Yeah, Lux has ridiculous cooldowns. Uh... And her reduction just makes that even more so. Uh, I saw someone post about how Lux being nerfed is silly because of her CDs being so long. And I'm like, are you serious? Lux has probably the sh shortest, if not the shortest cooldowns of any mid laner in the game right now. Her ultimate can be used oh, yeah. pretty much twice of what, I guess, a Syndra could use. So, incredible cooldowns for Lux is pretty much what she's built around. Um, and... It's just insane amount of burst that she can do. Uh, not to mention, like you said, if that is an extended fight like that, she can have two spells of her uses of her ultimate. So <clears throat> that is, if she has the mana for it. If it's one that uh, team fight that she's already been out fighting in lane, yes, she does have all these insane cooldowns, but she still has mana, and she does have the Athene, so she'll be able to get some of it back. But if that really does come to an extended team fight where she's already been out in lane and using a lot of her mana she might be able to do two shots of the ultimate oh man but she won't have the mana for it look at this dragskin is pushing he's got like three or waves up there pushing the top and he already took a tower requiem want this dragon but it's not worth taking two towers down for tde and it looks possibly like possibly three dragskin's got three minion waves maybe two and a half at least taking that tower up top he's gonna back and allow tde to get their first dragon because spongebob still did not have his tp back up so very nicely done by tde to understand that oh yeah i mean one thing that i do have a feeling i'm seeing is that top laners have been farming and split pushing while the other top laner has been roaming around getting a lot of team fights going on i mean last game it was uh watching the gang playing doing his thing split pushing while the team fought where in this game draxkin has been split pushing while participating in team fights it's almost as if he's everywhere yeah well he is still down quite a bit of cs trundle is now up about a thousand gold just straight up of draxkin so that is a very big amount of gold to beat down uh, for Poppy, and it's just from the farming and one kill and one assist. Requiem still only have two dragons, so that 6% might make a big difference in the next team fight for TDE after they pick up that dragon, but I suspect Baron might be the next objective after this mid tower for TDE is spoken of for Requiem. You know, that, uh,. Nutrix has some insane uh, wave clear on Sivir. I mean, he already has 300 farm by 30 minutes. I mean, he's hitting at least 100 farm every 10 minutes. That's what Sivir does, man. She's just bouncing blades and boomerang blades. Lol, JK. If you thought you were going to split push, I just clear the wave with one combo. <laughs> That's like a Victor laser in 80 carry form. Basically. Oh! oh Shelly still got it. So oh. like, oh, sorry, it's mine. No, sorry. that was Lux's fault. No, honestly, red buff. Speed up from Draction goes in onto B camp. Dissonance gonna get the speed up for B camp. He'll be safe, but just barely. Now SpongeBob looks to split push top. Draxkin's TP was used in that engage onto B camp that failed, and now the split push from Trundle is gonna be pretty significant. Coming out of Requiem here. TDE want to force a tower in the bot lane and trade this if they have to. They might have a 4v4 here potentially as Draxkin is backing to deal with Spongebob. 
But that's a tower in the bot lane for TDE. Oh, this total shockwave fluke misses everyone. And that's a big team fight ultimate down for B camp. And Poppy used her ultimate to get Trundle off the tower. Free tower for TDE right now. Depth charge onto Orianna. Big ultimate from Lux hits four people. Knock up from Braum ultimate goes through. The culling is going all the way into Blomi. It is being blown hard. But he still goes down. No, he gets picked off by Super Jew. Blomi bot lane. Sivir gets the double kill. Nutrix is just throwing boomerang blades out there. And I want your booty has got two for her worth. And they're going to pick up the tower and the bot. Meanwhile, SpongeBob is trading this top tower for the in uh, inhib tower in the bot side. And inhibitor. There's not much Requiem can do to stop this inhibitor from going down. SpongeBob did not have TP, so he got the best of what he could. Nearly picking up Draxkin, but just did not have the damage to do it. So, two towers, an inhibitor, and three kills for TDE. For one tower and one kill for Requiem. Big win for TDE right there. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was looking down, watching the team fight. I looked down at the main map and just saw uh, SpongeBob flying into the blue air, uh, area. Yep. Onto the blue pit. And I'm just like... Wait, what? Oh, yeah, that's right. They have a Poppy. Yeah, I'm like, Rek'Sai ultimate? Trundle doesn't have a Rek'Sai ultimate. What's going on? <laughs> but, no, um, Zolo, you're right. Kale's cooldown is some serious cheese. Hey. It's like, oh, you think you're killing me? Now nah, I'm vulnerable. Oh, wait a minute. Team fight is still going. I'm vulnerable again. Yep. Lol, JK, what did you think, man? And now, TDD have the inhibitor down in the bot lane. They could very easily pressure top lane turret. Now that that inhibitor is down, they have all of this free reign of Requiem's jungle with the pressure that super minions will bring. And I feel like if they could push that bot wave in as much as possible, they could easily rotate to Baron off of that. But I'm not entirely sure uh, if they'd be able to rotate to a Baron, get the Baron, and have enough pressure to uh, really make something of it. Oh, four members of Requiem are in this blue buff side of their jungle and three members of TDE are on the top side. They're coming to meet them in the middle though. Battle game is chilling. Smite goes down onto new drinks. Ultimate just popped. They're taking a tower up on the top. Three members of TDE are taking this. Spongebob for the win cannot defend against three members it looks like. Going back and forth. He pops the ultimate but it's not too much damage. Bromalt goes down. Does not hit anybody. Poppy's got the ultimate, totally whips it on Spongebob, misses everyone. Running away in the opposite direction, Pillar goes down. He's going to get taken down, it looks like, by Spongebob. No, she's still alive, and I want your booty is here to defend him. Slow from the Lucent Singularity, but now Trundle gets turned on to Lux. Stunned into the wall, the Cullen comes out from Super Jew, that's a kill for him. And Nutrix gets stunned up by Udyr, Flash... Everything popped for Nutrix to keep him safe. No ultimate left. Lux binding lands onto two members. Ultimate goes through, but Nutrix is still in a very dangerous spot. Shelly's mom comes through. Body slam on to Brettle Games. Pillar comes down for the slow spell shield. It's not going to be enough. This blow me bottling comes in from the side. It's not going to matter. And that's two kills over to Requiem now. The top lane tower is getting beat down by turrets. Hook lands onto Super Jew. Very awkward anchor. You don't want to take that, blow me. And he goes down for nothing. A binding lands onto Spongebob. Pillar goes down trying to get some trading back and forth. But that was a, f what, three for, three for none in a tower. Oh, man. Yeah, I, we, huh. I'm serious. We've seen some serious team fights coming out. We've like, seen some extended many. team fights. There's not many huh. team fights. But the, <laughs> but the sheer fact of how long they last makes up for how much of them there are how um this holy cow i'm an analyst dude i there? don't do play i don't do play by play and this is like a test for me i don't even know why i'm being tested i don't this isn't even my job <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah we need you know make the man his job he needs to get a better mic that's his job for the week yeah it is shelly's mom gets the dragon has to flash out of the pit uh, so that's a second dragon for TDE. Poppy's on the backside. Stunned up by Uder. Binding onto Awesome Bill. Alderman Rorion is massive. It's three people, but it doesn't net a kill. Still anchored. Just barely misses B Camp. Now they're going to continue to chase the teleport coming in from SpongeBob. You're in a very awkward spot. you got to get over that wall, Shelly. 
Blow me botlane taking down to Larry Low. Gets popped by Brattle. Depth charge is used, but not gonna matter too much. Flash from B camp is used to get over the wall. Uh, she does not have the reach to get to the rest of TDE. Unfortunately, Sivir no, is gonna be safe because the stun from Draxkin. Cullen comes out, but now TDE are running just to wherever they can. Even though Requiem are under a tower, they feel very safe. Flash, bear slap for Booty, and he's gonna take his there as Superju picks up the kill. 4-2-4 four, and four on this Lucian now, and Requiem are gonna try and take this Baron, it looks like. But that inhibitor is they... down in the bot lane. Look at all the super minions plowing into the base. B camp has to back. B camp has to back. I don't think B camp has the wave clear to deal with this. Uh, not a couple of super minions, but Shelly's mom's gonna dis, dis, dis. It gonna slow down this bear and it stops it. He's back to full health. That's very risky for Requiem to keep taking. That in Nexus Tower is very low. That super minion wave took it down to pretty much nothing. But TDE they stopped the Baron. Lucky. They got very lucky that their minions spawned and then their inhibitor came back. Otherwise, they would be down another Nexus Tower. Oh man, Draxkin is still very alive, but so close to dead. As Draxkin are pushing the mid lane now, they're forcing this. Uh, they're forcing this pressure here. They have all of the pressure that they need with everyone down on the side of TDE, but they're all slowly coming back up. The last one alive will be Shelly in 15 seconds. And Baron is going to be the name of the game here. That bottom inhibitor has respawned, so we'll have to see who's going to make the first play, the first risk. You know, I feel like if we, I feel like if we brought in, say, B Camp or Super Jew or someone did an interview, and we asked about why didn't you guys back, he's like, "No, nah, man, calculated. We knew we'd be fine." I don't know, man. They went straight for the Baron. B Camp was backing pretty early, so he probably saw it. that inhibitor the next tower went down, but. He had to back, or that other Nexus Tower would have gone down as well, so. Oh, yeah. They stopped the Baron with Shelly risking his, or actually giving up his life for it, so. Overall, in Nexus Tower, uh, and the gold lead is still plus or minus 500 for either team at this point. Both teams showing that they're, they can come back and then throw and then come back. They're both very good at adapting to different situations in this game. We can see one second Requiem had the lead, and then TDE had the lead. Now it's pretty much dead even at this point. Who will well, be I mean, the first to make a mistake? Super Jew was 0-2, and, and now he's 5-2. and 2. He is coming <clears> back. <throat> he is hitting that late game Lucian, where he's able to dash in, kill someone, dash, kill someone, and be able to handle that. Whereas at the same time, uh, Spongebob, he hasn't died yet, but he's running out of item slots. He's about to hit his max level that he can be. He's not going to get much stronger than that. Uh-oh, but the engage coming from the not the engage comp, surprising enough. Bear Slap's going to slow blow me. It's not going to do too much. Silver ult was popped for the disengage. Surprisingly enough, Requiem being very aggressive forces TDE to back off and blows Nutrix's flash. This is just some insane team fight we're seeing. One second we're seeing one team fight there, next second next team fight. Oh how just literally five minutes ago I was saying how the team fights are far and few between. Now they're happening almost every other minute. Yeah, and TDE are looking to push this mid tower. They're trying to force something here. SpongeBob is rotating up, it looks like. It's currently a 4v5 when SpongeBob shows up. Big shockwave! It's three people. Nutrix was popped by it. Pillar goes down. Nutrix gets exhausted. Goes down to B camp. That's a lot of damage down for TDE, and now they're forced to run away. Blow me bot lane has to flash. Binding lands onto the back line, but Oriana picks up the double kill in Blow me, and now Requiem are chasing down TDE. Nice binding is going to prevent any more continued chase, but two members down for TDE means Requiem have total control over this. They can force turrets, they can force a Baron, but it looks like they just want this turret here. It's easy to portals, man. They're going to stop all that. Uh, I mean, it's doing work thus far. It's holding them off, at least, for the time being. 
Still 10 seconds on Nutrix and Plomy engaged. Jackson goes in, gets hit. All the bit from Lux goes down. B-Camp's chunked to half health, but still no one on Requiem has gone down. Tower will go down for Requiem. And now they should back off and look to ward up the Baron. They Well, they could probably easily take Baron uh, with SpongeBob being able uh, how tanky he is, but they would have to fight off for TDE first. Yeah, actually, Requiem is looking for the third dragon of the game, but SpongeBob gets caught by an awkward hook. Ultimate comes down. Requiem's coming back in the mid lane for the re engage. Sivir is back up. Lux pops Trundle. Depth Charge goes on to Lucian. Pops lots of damage from the Lux. Ultimate double rainbow. Shockwave misses everyone. And now Requiem's on the back foot. Nice anchor from Blow Me is going to hit Brett or Bill and is going to force a flash out of him. But now TDE are on the engage in the aggression here as they're forcing down mid tower. Uh oh, Wancha Booty finds B camp. It's going to be a 1v1 in the bot lane. But TDE, meanwhile, are going to be taking this mid inhib and probably the yeah mid inhib and rotate to the bot to take that bottom inhib. So potential two inhibitors down for Requiem is not going to be fun. Yo, what if B camp? Uh oh, B camp got bound up! Pop! Oh, just barely and not enough! B camp is still alive with a sliver of health. And he gets the kill even though Lux got the binding! B camp with the 1v1 kill even though he had a quarter health when the whole thing started! What the holy Toledo! I don't know if anyone can hear me clapping, but that was... I am very, very much impressed with B camp right now. Yeah, and now Requiem are gonna take their... No, not Requiem, but TDE, rather, are going to take the third dragon of the game. Requiem are defending against these super minions. And I don't... I, yeah. This game just keeps going everywhere. Oh, Brett will DC. We probably expect... There's a pause. pause. All right. Holy All right. cow. So... Woo! <laughs> no seeds yet. I will not... Well, I did stop, but... That was a really nice... Uh, juke there. I mean, I was impressed. B camp just Tommy kept Bruns, jukes. He care. had his juke shoes on, man. He had his happy feet going. He's got his alacrity and chance as well on his uh, CD boots. So speedy little Oriana there, especially with the dissonance. I can't believe he actually got that. I want your booty at full health, and B camp had about a quarter, but he just kept dodging everything. So nice. <laughs> what I was done. trying to say earlier was maybe. B camp, like that's over name. Maybe the B stands for booty, and Lux is just trying to take that. I don't know, man. It seems like uh, B camp has been camping the booty, and he's just got the one v one kill on the Lux that was just had such an advantage on him there. I mean, that was massive. If B camp had gone down there, TDE probably could have forced the game because a lot of the damage was gone. But since B camp did win that fight. They had to respect the damage was alive, and since Lux was down, there's nothing TDE could do to force to end the game. Had Lux ended that right there, TDE totally could have forced the game, but B camp with the outplay means Requiem still in this game and even have a gold lead. This is just one insane game. Oh, no. It looks like Brettle's having some very, very hard internet times. That's not good. That's really that not, good. not good whatsoever. Especially since he is the only one who has not died on the side of fire. On the uh, sorry, not fire. On the side of rec room, you have not changed the title. <laughs> Dude, it's uh, not my job. That's your job. Oh my god. No, it's no, it's not. What is this digital esports? Okay. I, I meant to cast. I meant to change the title. I meant to swap the overlays. My god, I have to do everything. Okay. Ugh. Jeez, you people. Holy cow. Alright, I think I'm getting a message from Bacomp. Let's see. Uh, unfortunately, this is actually going to be a massive issue. 42 minutes into the game, we can't just simply remake it. So, if there's an internet issue, then that's going to be on Requiem's loss, unfortunately. Um, well, unless they want to try and play the 4v5, I mean, which I'm pretty sure they would not want to. They're welcome to, but... Uh, it's just unfortunate that this kind of stuff happens. Um, Requiem, especially coming back so strong in this TDE game. I mean, we saw TC Snitz versus TDE. Incredible back and forth in the game. And now we're seeing the same thing from Requiem. I don't know what happened, but these teams just kind of 
sped up. They kept getting better and better and better as the split went on. And you saw Fire just demolish TC Snitch in the last game. And now we're seeing Requiem take TC Snitch, or not TC Snitch, but take TDE to the brink and see how far they're willing to go for a win. So these teams are starting to pull out everything they got, and we're starting to see just how good these teams can be. All right, well, it looks like the game is finally getting back into it. It looks like uh, they probably fixed, hopefully fixed, all the problems that Brettel was having as the team fight breaks out next to Baron. Uh-oh, Draxkeed in a very awkward spot, gets picked off. That was very silly risky from Draxkeed, and that's pretty much a free Baron for Requiem there. Not much they can do. He was going for the check, but he face-checked five members of the enemy team, it seemed. And Baron's at half health. Yeah, there's not much they can do at this point on the side of TDE. They're going to get a free Baron for Requiem, and... They have two inhibitors down, so TDE might be safe here, but still, very, very unfortunate pathing for Draxkin. I, the poor, poor Poopy got pooped on. I mean, uh, you should have seen that coming, man. I, I don't know what else to yeah. say about that. They're all heading that way. They, like, that's probably one of the simplest things that I've seen a lot of people do in LCS where they just go and sit in the pixel bush you're like okay first person to come here they die yep pretty much and that's how it went they didn't necessarily have any defensive wards or offensive wards there either so just a silly beginner mistake from Drax can cost him his life maybe it was just disoriented from the uh, pause I don't know but hey maybe there's still two inhibitors down for Requiem so this game isn't over yet they're slowly Not pulling ahead in gold, yet. but full builds are starting to come out. The gold difference isn't really going to matter it soon. I'm guessing that uh, SpongeBob's last time is going to be a ZZ. Yep, last time is ZZ Rot Portal for SpongeBob. Yep. So he's max build. Uh, Brettle Games is max build. Uh, let's see who else is max. Uh, B Camp is not yet max build, and we already know how much damage he does. Yep. Uh, looks like Super Jew is just trying to finish off, probably into uh, Lord Dominic's uh, reminder to uh, try and get through Dominic's Shelly regard. and Lord Bot Lane. Do I just mixed both. Yeah, Mortal Reminder so and Lord Dominic's regard. <laughs> Lord Dominic's regard and Mortal Reminder. I'm bad. It's K, okay, bro. It's you, can, okay. you can get both. Uh, uh oh, it's, um, that's a fast bear. Stuns up. I want your booty. Not enough. Depth charge goes on to B camp. Romy is down to half health. Greg is barrel disengaged. Brom alt knocks up Shelly. Now Brettel is just tearing apart. Blomi flash goes down, but it keeps does not matter. B camp gets the kill. Shockwave only hits Shelly. Sivir is gonna pick up. Awesome Bill. Cullen comes out for the disengage, but Trundle goes down. Now everyone on Requiem is on the back foot. They have a Baron, but it's not gonna matter. The team fight still goes to TDE. That TDE have two low members here. Can Requiem defend while they have a Baron buff? Stun just barely is not close enough as Brettel gets chunked down a little bit. Now TDE are trying to force this tower. They have two inhibitors down inside of Requiem. Can they force this tower on the side of TDE? Can they force a third inhib? Stun on to New Drinks! Insta Gib by Brettel! Engage from Shelia's mom and now they're gonna get forced off of this tower because they don't have any more damage. Lux can only do so much but it's not enough to get that third tower down. Now Super Jew is left on cleanup duty. That tower does go down. So that's an open nexus right now for Requiem. And that looks to be another push on this last inhibitor tower. Shelly's mom's going to get taken out by B Camp as he pulls him in under the inhibitor tower. Tears apart his resistance, just kills him. But the not the focus on the tower means Draxkin and Watcher Booty are going to get sniped. Beautiful flash from Brettel Games is going to stop the binding. Alt goes down, but it's not going to be enough. B-Camp on the backside getting taken out by Draxkin. Exhaust goes down. Draxkin goes hard, but it's not going to be enough as the inhibitor, as well with three other members of Requiem, are going to take down Poppy. And now inhibitors are starting to come back up for Requiem. They have no towers left other than that top lane inhibitor, which could have gone down if TDE focused, but unfortunately they just could not do it and both mid and bot inhib will be up in moments, so... B uh, uh, the game. The game. Uh, <laughs> this game. Hashtag games. Yes. Games Dean. What? But, um, 
Have you ever seen a video game high school? All I know is color casting. Blue, green, yellow. Ah. <laughs> oh, man. Chartreuse. <laughs> yeah. Requiem are forcing this mid tower, and they don't have minions yet. Uh, Booty and Draxkin are not up. Nutrix shall be up. He does have wave clear with his boomerang blade. The bouncing blade, whatever you want to call them. He should be pretty be able to force them back. Three members, they still have the wave clear on Requiem. Or TDE, rather. Big shockwave chunks out bot lane. Shelly goes down it. No, he gets chunked down. Have big Lux ultimate into four people. Nutrix gets the shutdown. Poppy ultimate comes down, knocks Trundle away. B camp, oh, nearly kills Nutrix, but just barely, barely not enough damage. Super Drew comes in, gets the crit easy peasy down onto Nutrix. Now there's Draxkin and Booty are now up. Trading positions. Now they are alive and everyone else is dead. Can Requiem forces. Brettle is down. Bill is very low. SpongeBob is about half health, but he will lifesteal pretty quickly. The wave clear from Lux is not necessarily as much as a Sivir. That inhibitor tower is going to be doing a lot of damage to the Trundle. I want your booty has to stay incredibly safe. He's incredibly low on side to SpongeBob for a win. He pops his ultimate for the lifesteal. Binding onto Bill and B Camp. But that's not going to be enough to stop this inhibitor from going down, it looks like. Requiem are coming back, forcing these fights and forcing every bit of advantage they can get. <sighs> these extended team fights, dude. The death timers oh. are 45 seconds at least. Oh. And yet, we're able to see team fights where they die and come back. It's almost as if Revive is a summoner spell again. Oh my god. I... I don't know if I can cast the next kid. <laughs> Holy cow! I did not clap, CTF. I have not clapped since then. No, dude, that was a very that was from last. Oh wow! Time. I just I just realized that that's wow. Okay. Yeah, he said great I, reference. Uh... He just applauded you. He said good job, Visago. Oh, I'm proud. Sorry. And then I, you I, just go I around with this are... asshole remark. How dare you, Visago? <laughs> I'm so I'm so used to seeing chat move that I thought that was a new one. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Fire him. <laughs> Fire him. CTF was on. I think CTF maybe, just swap sides. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, CTF. I'm very sorry. Fire him. Oh. But, uh, <laughs> maybe I should uh, maybe I should sub for one of the games fighting fire, and then that that'll count. Right? Oh my god. If I lose against fire. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna lose. I, I I'll just tell you straight here. Uh, Requiem oh, setting yeah, up easily, for this Baron. Yeah. They're getting the vision control here. Five seconds left on this Baron respawn. TDE are slowly making their way here. They should be able to respond if they need it. <laughs> this could go any either way. This team fight will decide it over this Baron. And I'm probably wrong about that because both of these teams can pretty much handle the back foot. But at this point, this is incredibly tense. Neither team Everyone, has given up an entire team fight yet. The only one that is uh, not full build, I believe, are these supports. Yep. And even then, it looks like they're just slowly building into... I can't tell, because uh, uh, Bill already has a ZZ Rot portal, and I don't know what else Raptor Cloak builds into. I don't really remember either. That's a good question. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I honestly don't think it builds into anything else useful. useful. Uh, it might be a misclick, it might be I'm just an idiot, but we'll have to see if he decides to sell it or if he builds something else with it. I'm pretty sure it only builds into actually a Zero portal, but um, I could be wrong. Either way, it's incredibly tense. Gold lead is small for Requiem, but it really doesn't necessarily matter because everyone is full build and max level at this point with the exception of the supports and Shelly, which I'm sure will be max level very <laughs> soon, so... I wish that as a viewer we could open up the um, shop, but I don't know. I don't think we can. An Ohm Wrecker. Okay, it's Ohm Wrecker it builds into it. Yeah. So uh, okay. unless he's building they're an Ohm Wrecker, like... which is possible, I but I mean, to... there's not many more towers I mean, left. I mean, they have the Nexus Towers. I mean, if they're able to take down one and just Ohm Wrecker the other, I mean, they could save someone's life. I, I don't know. Eh, oh. it's it's a question that we'll have to figure out once he goes back to buy. Jackskin and SpongeBob are in the bot lane now. 
Let's I think see. Jack's gonna get baited by the uh, ZZ Z Rock ride. portal. Yeah, and now it's a uh, members of TDE are in the mid lane looking for the Baron, trying to get some vision control around it as the trade in the bot lane goes down. Still very even. No one wants to make a mistake here. Very tense. Yeah, do you call it ZZ Rot or Zrot? Me? I call it Zerot. <laughs> ZZ Rot. Zerot? Um, Zerot? <laughs> look, peoples, you're just salty that, like, I... I was... I don't even know what I did to you, but... I don't know. I, I don't know what you're salty about, man, but I'm very not biased. Like, I feel like I'm very even with my assumptions... Or not assumptions, but my analysts... Analysis I mean, of the team. You see, I don't think we're biased. I mean, coming at us right now, a bias would be like, well, you see, even though TDE is 13 kills down and also, and they're so much amount of gold down and they don't, and they have a few more towers and they're equal on tracks, so they could easily win this. And there's no chance at all for uh, them, uh, for uh, Requiem to be able to win this. Yeah, people's None just salty, man. He's That's tilted. biased. He's totally tilted. We... He's just con constantly tilted. <laughs> so I mean, anyway. yeah. <laughs> he was born in it. He's just in a constant state of tilt. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, I mean, technically, isn't everyone tilted? I mean, the Earth is tech is tilted. Well, so. I guess he's more tilted than that, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I did not vote Shimon's. When did I, I vote Shimon's? That. <laughs> that was probably like the second game I've ever seen. And in all honesty, you can't blame me for that because that was so early for the teams. Like, come on, man. I'm going to look that up after this game because I bet you that was like the first or second game we've ever played in Season 3. Which is a totally fair assessment that. based on team comps. And not only that, also, if it was me that said it, dude, take in mind that I based who wins uh, by who had the better skins. Hey. <laughs> That's hey. how I used to do it. <laughs> it's fair. Marauder skins, man. It works. More pointless slap fest in the bot lane, but the Baron is looking to be started by Requiem. They have got it down to about half health. Now they're pulling off as uh, TDE start to pull in. Yeah, really not too much happening. They're just doing this awkward Baron dance. Super Drew's down to about three quarters of health. Yeah, more trading in the bot lane. Poppy is going a little bit oom here, however. He's going to have to back off eventually. Yeah, and still, no one wants to make a move. It's a 55-minute game, and neither team wants to make a move. This is just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look that up for peoples what? because I'm pretty sure it doesn't really it's not that bad because if it was like a second game you can't judge everything by the first two games or so like you have to get in the feel of things like now they're a top team Zero but CS. before they I didn't know anything about the teams zero CS at six minutes huh I mean is that even possible I mean no it's not That's he's exact he's it's no he's not it's exaggerating <laughs> Anyways, fourth dragon picked up for Requiem. Trundle's back and he has TP. No one's gonna make a move. Full build is coming out from everyone. Braum still has that awkward Raptor's cloak. And still nothing. 56 minutes, nearly breaking an hour at this point. I think this might actually be one of the, if not the longest game. If this goes past, I think, 58. <laughs> is it possible? <laughs> who did that? Did who did that? Was that you? <laughs> Basago, you can't just abuse your powers like that. I'm sorry, people. I thought it would give me an option. I did not mean to actually do that. Oh, I it would give me did an you option. ban him or did you just? <laughs> no, I t I timed him out. Oh it's my! It's just a timeout. Basago, you can't abuse your powers like that, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, I did not mean to actually time you out. I thought, like I said, I thought it would give me an option. Oh my god. I, I don't think he it's was not banned. A ban. John, it was not a ban, it was just a timeout. It says people's uh, 97 has been timed out for 600 seconds. <laughs> oh my god. Pasago, you just... 
I gotta, I can't, this is why we can't have nice things, Visagos, because you fuck it all up. <laughs> what else have I screwed up? <laughs> Let him have his day in court. <laughs> oh my god. Anyways, uh oh, here's the fight we're looking for. TP from Trundle is forced. Impaler goes down, Draxkin getting chunked, half health, stunned up, goes down. Yes, yeah, Super Ju picks up the kill. Orion Alvin picks off, Shelia's mom stuns up. TDE looked to be losing this fight. Two members down for TDE. 70 second death timers now. And Requiem are going to force down this mid tower. Potentially go for a Baron. But yeah, Binding from Lux is going to prevent any more picks. But that is a fast bear. And they can definitely <laughs> force this fight under the Nexus Towers. Because it's so late in the game. Flash stun onto Ancha Booty. Cullen comes down. Wah, bot lane's going to go down. Flash heal everything used to keep him alive. But Ju... Super Jew picks up another one, and now two members, the damage dealers of TDE, are left to defend the Nexus. I don't think they can do it. They don't have any protection. Nutrix and Lux, not going to have enough clear, not going to have enough damage, or not going to have enough peel to do this. Inhibitor, Nexus Tower 1 goes down for Requiem. It does not matter. The ultimate does not do anything other than pick up Super Jew, but Nutrix is on the other side getting picked up as well. I want your booty does not have any more to collect as Requiem are on to the Nexus. B camp is incredibly low, but still a 58 minute game. Requiem take the win after just a dance of for 58 minutes. That's two teams now that beat uh, TDE. Are TDE on tilt? Like, I mean, did they play tilt and got tilted? I mean, when do they play tilt? That would be interesting to see the effect of that, but... That's two losses for TDE in two games. Two days. 